Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be learning how to create reflective 3D text for your cinematics. Let's go. So as you can see, we've got After Effects opened up. I've got a composition um, opened for the resolution of 1920 by 1080 and I've already imported a cinematic. So I'm just going to drag that down to the timeline. And the very first thing you're going to want to do is right click, click track and stabilize and then track camera. This will take a little while um, and I will come back to you once that's done. Okay, so now that the camera has been tracked, you will notice that across your footage, you'll have all of these little um, node points. Um, and when you hover over them, you get this um, bullseye sort of uh, diagram or symbol, should I say. If you don't see these points, make sure that you have the render track points box checked. Now, what you're going to want to do is decide roughly where you want your 3D text to appear, and you're going to want to find a, a point with your uh, the symbol on the screen where that's nearest to the point where you want your 3D uh, text to be. So for me in this cinematic here is I want my 3D text to appear sort of around this area. So I'm going to pick um, somewhere that is the nearest point to that. So um, for me, it's going to be around this sort of area. So I'm, I'm going to choose this point here. Um, once you've found that area, you want to right click and then click on create null and camera. So we've now got our null down here. Um, so all we're going to be using that for is for the 3D positioning of that area. So we'll come back to that in a little while. Now we're going to create our text layer. So we're simply over here in the um, layer section. If you want to right click, press new, then new text. Over here you can change your text size, your font, etc. Anything, the color doesn't matter. Um, and I'm literally just going to type 3D text tutorial. I'm going to have tutorial written underneath like that. Um, once you've done that, just press off the layer and you can then hide it. Now that we have our text layer ready to go, um, which will be the reference for our 3D text, you're going to want to right click over here again on the layer section, press new and new solid. I'm going to set it to black, it doesn't really matter. Um, make sure that the width and height is the same size as your composition and press OK. Now over on your effects and preset section, this is where you're going to require the Element 3D plugin. All you need to do to find the Element 3D plugin is just Google, uh, YouTube search it um, or go direct to their website and purchase it. Once you've got that installed, um, you're going to want to search for Element over here and it'll be under the Video Copilot section and just simply drag and drop that onto your new solid layer. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the black disappears and we can go into setting up our 3D text. So the first step with Element is to, next to where it says custom layers, press the little arrow and then next to custom text and masks and then path layer one, where it says none, choose your text layer. Now that you've done that, you can close those down and then we want to press on Scene Setup. Wait for that to load up. Now we're inside of Element, um, you just want to press Extrude and you will see that you've got your the text that you um, created earlier um, in a 3D space. Now this bit is totally optional, but I always tend to put my bevel scale up a little bit larger. So I'm going to set it to about four. There we are. And it just creates a bit of a nicer um, looking uh, 3D space on the text. Now, <clears throat> down here, we're going to um, choose the texture I'm going to use on the text. Um, I've got a couple of different packs here, which yet again, you can find by searching YouTube. Um, I highly recommended the Pro Shaders too because the textures are, are absolutely brilliant and the um, metal textures that they've got work perfectly for 
the sort of look we're going for on our cinematic text here. Now, I tend to use um, one that's called foil. Uh, let me just try and find it. Do, 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 do. There it is, clean metal foil. And then once you've found the texture you want to use, you literally just want to drag it onto your text, like so. And you'll see that the texture has now been applied. Then all you simply want to do is press OK. And that's the 3D texturing side of the text done. So now you'll notice that we can't actually see our 3D text. Uh, and that's simply because we haven't set the um, 3D location for that text. So that null that we created earlier, if I just move my webcam out of the way here, that null we created earlier, this is where this comes in. So you're gonna to wanna to press on the, the, the null and press P on your keyboard. And that reveals the X, Y, and Z location of that null we created earlier. Now, now we've got that up, press back onto your solids. So we have the element again in our effects controls and you want to go to group one and then particle replicator. And we have our X, Y, and Z locations. And all we simply want to do is copy and paste those from down here. So I'm just gonna copy the X into the X, the Y into the Y and the Z into the Z and <laughs> it's in the wrong location it's still but it's now on our screen so now using the X Y and Z locations and if you press on the rotation drop down arrow you've got the X rotation Y rotation and Z rotation it allows us to manipulate the text into the location we want it to be so to correct the location of our 3D text, we're going to want to uh, change the values of the X, Y, and Z. Um, and also you might need to rotate the text so that it's facing our camera viewpoint in the way that you want it to. If you also find that it's too small, underneath um, particle look, you have particle size and you can increase this, which will make the text look larger. Um, where I'm recording at the minute, I can't, the um, rendering of the of my, of my screen isn't great. So I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna set the text to, a, to how I want it to be. And I'll come back to you. One thing to quickly note whilst I'm playing around with the location of my text is to make sure that you go through the time the timeline of your footage to make sure that the text looks perfect in every every uh, viewpoint of it so for instance in my original viewpoint of here that location is is great for me but then if you go back to the very beginning of my footage you'll see that it's overlapping the wall and all that sort of thing so it just doesn't look correct so just make sure as you're doing this that you're going to check it from different viewpoints along uh, the timeline of your footage to make sure that you're happy with the way it looks in every location Okay, so I've managed to get my 3D text into a location that I'm happy with. Um, and I've also got rid of the, um, the tracker points from my footage. And the way to do that is you literally press on your footage layer and you've got your 3D camera track under your effects controls and just uncheck the render track points checkbox. Right, so the, we're gonna go on to the next uh, stage now, which is to add the reflections to our 3D text because currently it's got the reflections from the texture we've put on, but it doesn't reflect the world around what we're looking at. So the way we do this is you just want to create a duplicate of your cinematic footage. So just press on the original layer and just press Control and D on your keyboard and that will create a um, duplicate. Um, find a location in your cinematic that there's good coloring and everything. I'm just gonna use this same spot as I've done most of the work from. Um, and then right click, go to time, and then freeze frame. Ignore that because we can uh, delete the 3D camera tracker off of that duplicated layer. And even because that layer is on top at the minute, the, as you can see, the, the, the frame doesn't change. So all I'm going to do is um, actually hide that layer because we don't need to see it. Um, and I'm going to uh, rename it to reflections. 
now that we've got our duplicated cinematic footage, I've clicked back onto our solid layer, which is our 3D text. Um, and we're going to go over to um, render settings, physical environment, and where it says override layer, where it says none, press on that and then choose our reflections layer. And then also under custom layers and custom texture maps, under layer one, we're also going to set that to reflections. And then underneath render settings and ambient occlusion, press enable AO, which adds some shadows to the 3D text. Um, and then you can play around with these settings as you so wish. Um, but I'm going to leave them at default. And now you can see that our 3D text has, let's try and render this whilst I'm recording. It has real world reflections. So as I play through it, you can see that it's reflecting the world around it. So it actually looks as if it's there. The reason this is happening is because obviously um, the end of our cinematic footage is here and we have these layers um, continue on afterwards. So I'm just going to select those three layers that are past it, um, press Control Shift and D on my keyboard, and then just delete all these bits that are after. And then, uh, yeah, how's that? So there we are. That's the uh, tutorial. Um, I hope it was helpful to you and you'll be able to use this in your um, cinematics. Um, if it did help, remember to like and subscribe um, so you can keep up to date for any other new tutorials I bring or any of my new game edits. Um, yeah, until the next one, guys. Thank you very much. See you around.